Fantastic. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be here today. And as Sunil said, this is the 11th edition of our summit. And uh, it's exciting to do the first uh, first one in Delhi and the 11th summit that we have. So, I'm going to spend the next 10 12 minutes talking a bit about what we do. Uh, some of you already know about us and what, what uh, kind of work we do, what kind of band we work with. But we want to spend 10 minutes to just uh, take you through some of our case study. Uh, we really work with you know, brand uh, as a growth partner where we combine uh, creativity, combine media and analytics and, and data, bring that together. And, and the teams and the people and the talent that we have actually brings that magic together as well. And we really do an integrated approach where right from brand strategy and market research, which is something we started doing a few years ago, to an entire spectrum of digital in terms of social content, SEO, uh, and we also added marketing automation and a few other solutions over the last uh, few years. Uh, and, and over time, we've also expanded into doing more verticalized solutions. So with social media, we do a lot of work on the media and creators and creators mandate. Whereas on the influencer side, we have a lot of work that we do on the creator economy side, and we'll have Arushi later on talking more about it. And we also have a specialized vertical that we created for our B2C brands and omnichannel brands, and we'll show you some of the works that we do for them as well. Uh, these are some of the brands that we actively work with at this point in time and many of them are uh, either industry leaders in their own segment or continue to be challenger brands to become number one in that space and across multiple segments and uh, yeah, exciting brands that we've been able to partner with over, over time. So I'm going to share some case studies, one that we're really uh, excited about that we've partnered with for the, for the last five years is Boat. Uh, it's a brand that I'm sure many of you probably own and definitely all of us knew about the brand. Uh, we've been working there for five years, but about three years ago, Boat came to us with a unique challenge that 100% uh, of their sales at that point were from marketplace. And they said, how do we build a D2C channel? How do we build a channel where we can increase our percentage of direct to consumer uh, revenue? And that's the challenge that we wanted to work towards. Uh, what we do for them is actually a combination of these three things, which is starting off with a robust media strategy and figuring out what can we really do for the audiences across multiple categories. Be it the audio, be it variable, be it the new categories of the ring that they've left on. And figuring out how do you do a full funnel, right? So a lot of creative work both in terms of actually figuring out what creative approach that you should take and the experimentation that goes along with it. And then of course the ongoing optimization for that. Uh, one of the things that we do uh, deeply is the, the data and analytics and the studies that come from that. So we built a complete custom dashboard to be able to track that real time. And uh, we can actually know which product, which city, what is working, what's not working real time across all channels from the D2C side. Uh, creative is a big part of what we do. Uh, I'll show one small example of, of some of the creative work that we use uh, for a brand like this. Oh. Baker. Wow, it's done. What? Oh. Right, so uh, the creative approach is done jointly. In fact, uh, the, the board team has a large creative team at their end. Uh, and combined with the creative capabilities that we bring, we kind of bring that magic together. And a lot of that also involves experimentation, right? We take the same product, figure out different call to action, different ways of showing those USPs. There are different aspects of that product that you can bring out. And that's how you test what gives you the best the ROI for it. Uh, and this is the uh, number that they reported last, so I can share it, which is the publicly shared information that they gave, uh, that uh, they are now number two store on Shopify and you'll be able to scale up from a 0% uh, D to C uh, percentage to 15 to 10. And uh, that's something we continue to kind of scale and do with them. Uh, the other brand that I want to talk about is quickly, it's a brand that we helped launch for uh, Mahindra Finance. It's a car subscription brand. And, uh, you know, we did a lot of work to actually do market research, talk to customers to understand why do they delay a purchase of a car or why do they not buy the car that they really want? Maybe because of affordability, because of EMI, because of loan. Uh, so we figured out all those pain points and created our entire series uh, with the main theme called Bye Bye, which is forget buying a car, but actually, you know, 
lease it or subscribe to it like you would subscribe to Netflix, right? Um, so this was a complete uh, uh, brand strategy, brand execution, creating those brand films and actually seeing how do you get traction for a new brand uh, in the market. Is loan tenure longer than your car's life? Say bye to buying cars. Hi, to quick lease. Subscribe to a brand new car with flexible tenure and upgrade easily. Quick lease. Subscribe and just drive. So this was recently launched. So our data uh, will probably turn on next topic. But you know, this is a this is a brand that we helped launch and try to see how do we scale and get traction uh, for a concept that to be sold as well. Uh, we also do a lot of work on the content marketing and SEO side. Uh, and Wakefield is one of our larger case studies there. Uh, they came to us with the problem statement that they wanted to be seen as a home solutions brand and not just a mattress brand. And one of the approaches there was how do you create content which can be discovered uh, through search engines at Google and create content, both video and, and written content to make that happen. And, and also because the number of queries, number of searches, number of consumers for home solutions is much, much larger. Uh, and that's the other reason why we wanted to go after a much larger category of products. Uh, so if you, know, if you go to uh, Wakefit and check out their uh, guides, we have about 60 guides that we initially did in our first batch and we're doing more as we speak uh, and also vernacular languages now. And these 60 guides have helped us actually uh, get an enormous amount of traffic which I'll show you in the next slide. And each of these guides are anywhere between 4,000 to 6,000 words. But it also means each of these need to be designed separately, the user experience need to be thought through. Uh, there is an experience of, of figuring out which chapters you can skim through the content if you like. So we don't expect everyone to read every part of the content, but as long as you skim through it and find what you're looking for, that's what matters. And that's what Google is also looking for. So this is something that we've uh, been able to create. And uh, actually, if you combine all these 60 guides, it's almost equal to about six books. And uh, you know that's how much content we were able to write and execute for a brand like this. Uh, and that actually helped them grow their organic traffic from generic keywords. So brand keywords, of course, a big part of what they do, but from the generic keywords, we're able to scale up and help them uh, grow that path. Uh, Tata Click is another brand we've done a lot of work over the years. We've done about 35 different campaigns to actually uh, help them engage audiences, launch categories. We help them launch uh, perfume, app, leisure, many other categories. Uh, I'm going to show you one campaign that we did for them, which was to engage with audiences across uh, using creators. And these are, of course, larger creators that you'll see. There's that girl now, you, you say, who oh, looks like you. Uh, Rihanna? Oh my God. <laughs> I am Saba Gupta. Hello, I'm Nina Gupta. And we're taking on the show you them, you know them challenge by Dana Clay. So I'm going to prove to everyone that I know you all too well, and I'm going to win. Okay, okay, okay. Just don't fly so high, we haven't even begun. So we have prepared questions to ask each other and the judge will be the person who is asked. Okay, so if you were to press play on my music player right now, what's the first song you'd hear? Then that girl now, you, you say who oh, looks like you, way of <laughs> One second, one second. Uh, Rihanna? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to be very it, but uh, this is a campaign that we uh, delivered across multiple channels, including YouTube, Meta. Uh, it was to really create engagement for the brand, and this was done over the course of many months to various campaigns and uh, helped us really engage. There were, of course, macro creators that you saw on speak, but there were also a lot of uh, micro creators that we leveraged uh, for this, show them, you know them. Uh, this is the last case today I'm going to show, which is uh, for a inverter battery uh, brand, Libgard. Uh, and this is unique because this was a brand which wanted to do things digitally, but actually track outcome offline, right? And and we'll also have uh, Artish later on talking a bit about this in the panel. But uh, this was unique in that case, and we again had to do a complete 360 degree approach, right from figuring out the communication, which media channels and what we did. So I'll show you a glimpse of some of the work. Uh, there's a lot that went into it, but we'll show you some of it to give you a glimpse of what we did. The 
गुड़िया हमारी सोने चली है बिजली के साथ सुख शांति बिल्कुल लिव गार्ड आई वर्टर लगाओ आराम फरमाओ and and uh one of the things that we did here was of course a uh, lot of digital activities but we also did a survey offline at the dealer level at the store level to understand if there's been a consideration dip for the brand right and that uh uh so a combination of the digital brand lift study and the offline study that we did uh to help us understand whether the brand consideration uh and actually at the moment of truth at the counter has it improved or not uh, and that's what we think here Uh, there are a couple of other case study videos as well that uh, were running before, including Brad Black Jack, Wah, uh, Happy Lou, and others. So we'll also play that during the break. And uh, yeah, that's a quick gist about us, and excited to see the rest of the day.